Hey everyone, Dave here with CMCL uh, Teen Department and just wanted to welcome you to our Take and Make Craft for February. This month's craft is Among Us Hand Warmers. That's right, you're going to be making crew members, uh, stuffing them with rice, and then what you can do is after you finish sewing them all up, you can put them in the microwave for 10 seconds and it'll warm up your hands after those cold nights outside. A couple of things that you're going to get in your craft kit when you pick them up from the library. Instructions. So you're going to re want to read over these carefully. Make sure you have all of the contents of the bag. Now you're going to get a big colored piece of felt, like white felt, a little piece, a bag of rice. And you're also going to get some stencils, which I have here. And you're going to get some embroidery floss. Now we're not including a needle with this. Uh, if you're new to sewing at all, you may want to use a needle with a slightly bigger eye than an embroidery needle. It'll be a little bit harder to go through the felt, but it might make it easier for you to thread stuff. So uh, we recommend that you find whatever needle works best for you to uh, sew with. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. So one of the materials that I mentioned before was embroidery floss. And this is a really special kind of string. It's made up of five or six individual strands of string. And the purpose of it is to actually find the end and separate out a few of the strands to use. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this just to give you a demonstration of how to do this. So go ahead, give it a nice cut. And then I'm going to find the strands here. Yep, this looks like a six strand one. So go ahead and I got three and three. Now you're gonna wanna pull these apart in separate directions slowly. You don't wanna go too fast because you can see how easily it'll get knotted up. So keep going, keep going. And then there you go. So now you've got actually two strands here that you can use to sew. So now that you got the contents of your bag laid out, you're gonna to wanna to first look at the instructions and follow the pictures on here. Make sure you're doing everything the way that it's laid out on here to do. So, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is once you have everything out, is you're gonna to wanna to cut out your pieces of felt using your stencils. Now, as you can see, I've already cut out every piece that I need. I have two body pieces here I have the visor, which is partially sewn on, and I have the little pack that goes on the back. So uh, that'll be sewn on as well. Now you're gonna wanna sew on the visor and the pack first before you start sewing these two together. And that's just because it makes it a heck of a lot easier uh, to sew. Once you have those cut out, you can start uh, threading your needle and get ready to sew. Ah, but it looks like I got it this time. So you can see here, it's threaded through. Okay, once you have it threaded, you're gonna go ahead and tie a knot at the end here. I'll show you a quick knot that I always do. So I make a little cross here on my index finger. I pinch my thumb on the middle of that cross and I roll everything up. And then I take my uh, middle finger here and my thumb and I just kind of push that bit of string all the way down until it makes a nice knot. And that's the kind of knot you really want. It's actually pretty uh, small, so that's good. All right, so the stitch we're gonna be using today is called a blanket stitch. You can find this on most of the uh, fleece blankets out there. It's a very popular stitch for that. And it's very simple to do. Before I get started, I'm gonna start by sewing on the pack since I already started my visor. I'm going to start by hiding the knot in the back here. Now I've got a lot of string on the end there. I may end up cutting that at some point, but for right now it's okay. So to start this stitch, we're going to push the needle through both ends, just like that. And then oop, we're going to push through this body part here and come out right here where my needle is, okay? And then what you're gonna do is, you can do it one of two ways. You can take your thread and loop it around like this 
and then pull the needle up through it. Or if you're a little bit more lazy like me, I pull till it gets a little bit more taut and then I find the hole here and then loop it through so I can see that it's getting in there nicely. And as you can see, that's our first stitch. Very simple, easy to do. You don't wanna to pull too tight uh, just because it's gonna mess up the fabric a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew uh, the rest of the way through here. And once I get to a point where I can tie off, I will show you how to do that. And then all you have to do is just keep cutting a little more thread and putting things uh, and stitching things through as you go. I'm going to have to tie it off. Now I tend to do it a little bit too soon sometimes. Like I could probably do another stitch with this amount, but for the purposes of demonstration, I wanna show you how to tie this off. Now you can do it a couple of different ways. You could either cut right here really close to the top of the needle and then like take a bunch of threads here and just make a really nice knot. Or you can slide under your previous stitch and you can knot it up like this. Now, no, oh, I might have left a little bit too little. Let me see. See if I can go backwards and do it. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. So that's another trick I learned too. If you really don't have enough to pull it through the front way, try going backwards with the needle and uh, push the string through first and sometimes it works out. And there you go, you make a nice little knot there. And that way your stitch stays rather than coming apart. So go ahead and cut. And there you go. That is stuck on there very good. <laughs> I'm going to cut this part too. All right. Now you're going to do this stitch throughout the entire time you're making this. It's a really great stitch. Once you get the hang of it, it's very simple. You kind of just keep going and going and going. And what you're going to do is you're going to finish stitching these two things first. Then I would recommend you start about here, stitch all the way around until you get up to about here. And once you do that, you're gonna open your guy up a little bit and take your bag of rice and you're gonna pour it in. Now we just use plain old regular rice we found at the grocery store. Uh, if you need more rice, uh, you can always find it there. You might have some at your house. Uh, as long as you put in enough to make sure that the legs fill out and that he has a decent amount of stuffing, as I can show you in here, he's got a nice amount of stuffing. This is gonna be what actually keeps it warm once you put it in the microwave. So, as you can see here, this is a completed one. Stitches are all around. The stitches aren't perfect, but they're pretty well um, synced up and they keep the rice in very nicely. All you have to do is once you complete them, you throw them in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Uh, should be enough time to heat them up a little bit. And when you come in from being outside uh, and you're really cold and tired, uh, this will warm you up very quickly. So I hope you enjoyed making this craft. I know I did. Uh, and I hope it keeps your hands warm throughout these cold winter months. And just wanted to give you a couple of updates about the teen department. We are back open with uh, in-person programming. So you'll be able to check out all of our events on our calendar online, as well as picking up paper calendars at the library. And uh, I just wanted to put in a couple of special events going on. Uh, number one, we have an digital escape the room going on throughout the month of February. And this escape the room is based on the history of Valentine's Day. So you definitely wanted to check that out. We're also having a couple of special events at our Wildwood Crest and Upper Township branches. So please be sure to check those out as well. And of course we have our game nights going on. We have a brand new D&D &D group. So if you wanna join that, please come out on Thursday nights to the Courthouse Library. We're here from three to five. So we'll have that available to you as well. Uh, if you're looking for any other cool stuff to do with the library, please feel free to check out our website, teen.cmclibrary.org, and you'll be able to find out everything you wanna know about the teen department there. So thanks very much for joining us and hope you all have a happy Valentine's Day.